Hello and welcome. This is the first in a series of short videos detailing the use of MasterFrame and MasterFrame Pro. In the Master Series ecosystem of analysis, design, drafting, and detailing modules, our 3D modeling environment MasterFrame forms a key Master Series component. In this video, we will show you how to get started with a project, as well as giving you an overview of the menu system. To access MasterFrame, under the Programs tab on the main menu, we go to the Integrated Analysis and Design field and select MasterFrame. Here we have our file selection menu, whereby we can browse and pick up existing projects as well as start a new project. On creating a new project, you're presented with our Frame Generation menu, where you can simply start from producing a system of grid lines, a floor grid, snap grid, and predefined structural elements, frames, or trusses. In this model, we're just going to start with a floor plan where we can quickly and easily alter the initial layout, including the number of bays in each direction, the default values of each of these, and also then the individual values of any one particular span. We can also alter our level, grid spacing, and skew if applicable. Below, we can then determine the default section size of these items. To simply accept this frame, we'll click on Apply, and we can close out of our frame generation menu. If at any point you want to call upon any of the pre-processors, we can simply go to the Create menu and Add Frame. And here we have access to all of the different items that were available in the initial frame generation menu. For example, we may add a truss to this existing model, just like we could have created a truss for a new project. Let's move on to looking at an overview of the MasterFrame menu system and the main functionality of using MasterFrame. The menus have been loosely set up that as we move from left to right, we are able to create a full structural design from start to finish. Starting with our file management menu, creating and modifying our model, setting up views, defining member properties and loading, specifying restraint and support conditions, then onto our analysis and results menu. Our design menu will allow you to design your elements to the relevant material with one of our integrated design modules. Then finally, we can find our BIM and CAD links for generating all our structural drawings and reports. Going into more detail, starting with the file menu as you would expect, you have everything to do with creating a new project, opening an existing project, saving the file, some model information with regards to the details of the project, as well as exiting the module or the program. The Create menu provides everything to do with the creation of new structure and structural elements. For example, general members, columns and bracing elements. We can also define floor plate panels where we can generate loading and floor construction types for each floor. This is a pro feature. Anywhere in the menu where you see a pro in brackets against the menu item, this indicates that it is a master frame pro feature. We also have as another component to the master frame modeling environment, the master frame finite element analysis, which comes as an integrated analysis module. Again, anywhere where you see the FE surface suffix in brackets within the menu, it will be related to the master frame FE analysis module. Furthermore, within the create menu, we can copy frame elements and add frames as we have just covered. If we would like to edit an existing structure, we can come to the Modify Geometry menu and do things like split, merge, delete, and move members around. We also can edit our FE surfaces, as well as editing your frame, referring to nodes. We also have a host of tools to do with the integrity of the analytical model, checking the analytical model and ensuring that you have a well-connected structure from your modeling entities. The Viewing menu presents everything to do with manipulating and creating views of your structure. So if you're dealing with a large structure, it can be very convenient to deal with it in subsections of floor plates, grid lines, and any other custom view that you deem that you'd like to look at. From the Frame Views item, a number of different views can be generated within the multi-view setter. A lot of these views are automatically generated from the systems of levels and grid lines that you have on your structure. From the Properties menu, we can access the View Member Property Editor, and by selecting a member, we can deal with any of its generic properties, including its section properties, to its cross-section rotation, its end releases, its construction type, and a variety of other modeling attributes. A number of members can be selected by holding down the control key or windowing, enabling the properties of these items to be changed for the group of items that are selected. Other editing features are available for FE surfaces, stiff decks, concrete global data, and steel section database settings where we can define specific sections which can be designed using our integrated steel design module. The Loads menu allows us to set up our load cases and combinations and add specific member and nodal point loads. We can also generate area loading through the floor plate loading facilities. 
Automatic wind loading can also be applied through the Masterframe Pro wind surface loading facilities. We can access to items related to loading your finite element surfaces and FE surface pattern loading and some other load settings including your dynamic and seismic loading. Our restraints menu will allow you to define how your members are connected together, whether they have a fully rigid or a pinned connection, as well as nodal support conditions. To then proceed through to the results, we can look at how the analysis is set up. We can look at various second-order analysis capabilities, as well as global analysis options and FE surface meshing options. To perform an analysis, we simply can click Static Analysis. From here, we can also proceed through to the Dynamic Analysis add-on module to evaluate things like natural frequencies, response factors, as well as seismic analysis. Our results menu gives us options to look at our frame results in a graphical and tabular format, as well as individual member stresses and forces diagrams. Finally, when we complete our modeling, we can proceed to the design menu. Here we can define our design code and access our design groups. Design groups are highly recommended since they allow for the management of groups of members for a more controllable and rational design to be achieved, particularly when allowing the programs to perform an automatic design. We then have access to our different integrated modules. These modules include our steel design, composite beam design, steel connection design, concrete beam column and pad design, concrete slab and wall design, and slab deflection and cracking control design, pile cap, and also timber design, all part of the one multi-material modeling environment. For our structural output, we can go to the BIM Exchange menu. Here we can access the MasterCAD add-on module, which allows you to create additional full drawings for general arrangement purposes. You can also export your model to various CAD formats, including IFC, as well as being able to send and receive your model to Revit Structures and Tecla, as well as Master Series LCA, where you can quickly and easily determine the environmental impact of your model. The report menu allows you to look at all the details of your model in a report type format, as well as proceeding through to a print management facility for the graphical and tabular output of your structure. Masterframe Pro provides a very detailed report generator for you to build up a report of all the various ingredients of your structural model and allowing you to quickly and easily customize the output to your specific needs. Finally, the help menu provides you access to the Master Series Learning Center which takes you to our Vimeo channel where this video will be hosted, as well as written tutorial and manual content and help directly relevant to the module that we're currently in, which can also be accessed by hitting F1 on your keyboard. If at any stage, a remote support session is required or advised by our support engineer, this can be accessed from the Start Remote Support Session on the menu item. This concludes this quick overview of the Masterframe modeling environment and in the next video we'll be looking in detail at the use of grid lines to create a new structure.